in the name of Allah Almighty, the Magnificent, the Merciful. May peace and blessings be all upon you. My name is Suhaib Mukhtar. I am a PhD student of Intellectual Property Law at the National University of Malaysia. Today my topic of presentation is Interpretation of Statute. To interpret is to understand. Interpretation of statute means understanding of a law. There are two words which are used for the purpose of explanation, elaboration and an illustration of a provision of a statute. An interpretation and a construction. An interpretation literally means a meaningful advice. An interpretation can be of a word or phrase or a sentence. But construction can be of a phrase or of a sentence used in a statute. There are mainly two types of aids which we consult while we interpret or construct a provision of a statute. Number one, intrinsic and internal aid and number two, extrinsic and external aid. Internal aid includes the title of a statute, the preamble of the statute, headings mentioned inside the statute, punctuations used in the statute, marginal notes and the schedule added in the statute. These are six internal aids which we consult while we interpret or construct a provision of a statute. The ext extrinsic and external aid includes the dictionary meanings, long observed practices of the judicial fraternity, precedents, customs and usages which must be general and must be acceptable for an Im immemorial time, speeches of the parliamentarians and the perimeteria acts. These are six extrinsic or external aid which we consult while interpreting or constructing a provision of a statute. The Perimateria Act means that we consult another provision of the same statute while interpreting or constructing a provision of a statute or we can consult another provision of another statute if another statute's topic or subject is related or is the same topic is related is on the same topic the another statute is on the same topic mainly there are two general rules number one first of all we give the technical meaning given by the parliament to a word, phrase or a sentence in a statute. Secondly, we give a literal or, or, a, or a, uh, dramatical meaning to a word used in a statute. But if the literal or grammatical meaning leads towards absurdity and unreasonability or the literal or grammatical meaning is ambiguous, defective and fails to give a logical meaning, then we strictly follows and we strictly give the literal, the technical meaning given by the parliament to a word used in a statute. This is called the golden rule. There are various types of instruction in interpretation and construction. 
नंबर वन इज द मिसचीफ रूल वेन देर आर टू इंटरप्रटेशंस एंड कंस्ट्रक्शंस वन इज गिवन बाई द पार्लियामेंट एंड द अनदर वन इज गिवन बाई द जुडिशरी द वन विच रिजॉल्व द डिस्प्यूट एंड विच रिजॉल्व द इशू वुड प्रिवेल एंड वुड बी कंसिडर्ड दिस इज कॉल्ड द मिस चीफ रूल द पर्पज ऑफ द मिस चीफ रूल इज टू सप्रेस द मिस चीफ एंड टू एडवांस द रेमेडी एंड टू सेव द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एन इनेक्टमेंट एंड टू एक्स टू सेव द इनेक्टमेंट फ्रॉम एब्जॉर्डिटी एंड अनरिजनेबिलिटी अनदर टाइप ऑफ इंटरप्रटेशन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन इज परपोजिव कंस्ट्रक्शन विच इज सेम एज मिस चीफ रूल बिकॉज द पर्पज ऑफ द परपोजिव कंस्ट्रक्शन इज टू सेव द पर्पज ऑफ एन इनेक्टमेंट अनदर टाइप इज बेनिफिशियल कंस्ट्रक्शन वेन देर आर टू इंटरप्रटेशन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन द इंटरप्रटेशन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन which gives benefit to some people would prevail and would be considered the beneficial construction means to to give an ext- ex- extension to the meaning of the word used by the parliament to benefit some people another type is restrictive construction the restrictive construction is the opposite of the beneficial construction where we do not give an extension to the meaning of the word used by the parliament and we strictly follow the technical meaning used by the parliament and given by the parliament it is called the strict construction we strictly follow the technical meaning used by the parliament another type of interpretation construction is jurisdictional construction the court of law has jurisdiction to hear and decide all types of matters all types of issues unless expressly barred through the provision of a statute it is called a jurisdictional construction another type is exceptional construction sometime we give a far away meaning or a contradictory or contradictory meaning to a word phrase or a sentence used in a statute it is called an exceptional construction another type is construction based upon just justice and reason when there are two in- interpretations and constructions the interpretation and construction which is near to the justice and reason would prevail and would be considered another type is harmonious construction when we interpret and construct a provision of a statute we must consult another provision of the same statute of or another provision of another statute which is on the same topic and we cannot interpret and construct a provision of of a statute in isolation and in con- contradiction it is called the harmonious construction lastly there is a repealment of an act the repealer is the is come repealer comes after the repealed act which repeals the previous act to expurgate and to expunge the dead material from the statute to give more benefits to the people the repealed act does not affect the rights and liabilities occurred under the previous repealed act and the punishments given by the judiciary by the by the competent authority under the repealed act and there are some general principles regarding the interpretation and construction of a statute for example the special law has a priority 
over the general law and the domestic law has a priority over the international law these are some general concepts of the interpretation of a statute thank you very much